Welcome back to BT Vancouver on this Thursday morning. Thanks for joining us. Wet'suwet'en hereditary chiefs are expected to sign an agreement today over the coastal gas link pipeline with the feds and provincial governments. The deal aims to avoid another conflict like we saw in February and March, where blockades halted rail routes across the country. Hereditary chiefs say it still does not resolve the dispute over the pipeline's construction, which is still expected to go ahead. Elective chiefs have called for the resignation of Crown Indigenous Relations Minister Carolyn Bennett. In Ontario, people and businesses have been waiting for official details on what will be allowed to reopen in stage one of the province's plan. It will likely include low-risk workplaces and seasonal businesses. It may also allow for the gathering of more people. But today's announcement may not include a date for when this will all take effect. That depends on getting the all clear from health experts. Ontario recently extended its state of emergency until June 2nd. Alberta's relaunch plan kicks off today. Stores, daycares, restaurants and farmers markets are among the businesses allowed to reopen with lower capacity and guidelines to maintain distancing. A slower approach is being taken in Calgary and Brooks where case numbers are higher. Retailers can still reopen today in those cities but places like bars, restaurants and salons will have to wait until at least May 25th. With Twitter recently announcing it will let some employees work from home permanently, will other employers and workers want to follow? Courtney Terrio finds out. Pre-COVID, working from home was really rare. You know, 5% of days were spent at home. During COVID, it's something like 40%. Well, for many of us, the morning commute now consists of a walk from our bedroom into our office. This says many more of us are not having to make that daily trip into work. But despite what some pop stars might suggest, not everyone wants to work from home. Only around a half of people actually even want to work from home. So it turns out that younger people, single people, and those without kids are significantly more likely to want to come into the office. Yet that reluctance could soon change. You'll never see me. Twitter confirming it will let employees work from home permanently as more companies have seen the benefits during the lockdown. Are they really joining your company uh, because you're giving free lunches and snacks? Den Cassis has operated his software company remotely for 20 years. He says employee efficiency remains high even without brick and mortar. And what he saves on office space means more competitive wages and it reduces significant stressors. To relocate for the job is really stressful. It's one of the top five. You know, moving is a, is a big stressor. Um, we wanted to kind of keep people in their comfort zone. And while the pandemic impacts how we perceive the home office, a previous study from China found that clocking it at home has benefits beyond just being able to wear sweats. They were 13% more productive. And around a third of that was they said it was just easier to concentrate on the home. It was quiet. And around two thirds was actually they would work their full shift. But losing the water cooler gossip does have its downside. A lot of people report they get, you know, they, they feel competitive, they feel inspired, motivated around others, and your employees are five days a week at home perpetually. They turn into kind of gig workers. They don't feel so much affinity. So while the idea of saving 90 minutes on commuting a day sounds appealing, it's likely that even if we're given the choice, many of us aren't ready to completely abandon the hum of the office fluorescence just yet. I think for folks like Twitter, what we're going to see is they're going to make it optional to come into the office, and most people are going to vote with their feet and come in two, three days a week. In Edmonton, Courtney Terrio, City News. Scotia Bank, in partnership with BT, is proud to present Operation Support Local, shining the light on local businesses during this difficult time. All right. I, know, I know a lot of people love working from home, but I must say I really miss <laughs> Russ and Greg. I do too. And you know what? I've been in this building since 2006. I consider it a second home, and I'm happy to keep coming in here. Need a little break from the girls sometimes, you of know? Of course, yeah. It's nice to get out, <laughs> right? Yeah, they'll still be there when I get home. Uh, Mary, let's talk Operation Support Local right now. Brought to you